guys and more welcome back to my art channel today we are gonna paint a manga with coffee and this is super high concentrated so I should probably not do that <laughs> okay so I'm definitely awake now which is good and we are gonna color Kaito Kid, which is a manga by Gosho Aoma. Actually, he's the same artist that also does Detective Conan comics. As I said, we're not gonna use paint or comic markers, we're gonna use coffee. So I have some instant coffee here, and I have four cups of water here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to mix like a couple of different um, shades with this. We try to have like a light shade and then maybe one or two like mid tones and one really dark tone so i think i'm gonna start with the lightest color let's just do like half a teaspoon and let's mix it in here this gives us a nice color okay so for the first mid tone i'm gonna use just one teaspoon okay and then let's do two teaspoons for our second mid tone and then maybe three four our darkest tone. So the way I, I imagine that works, which I hope it will, is the more coffee I mix into those, the more like pigmented the color gets. Just like maybe basic paint. But since I haven't really tested this, I am not sure. Okay, let's just test this on a random side. So this is our lightest tone here. Okay, let's actually do it like so. This is our mid-tone. Smells amazing in here. So definitely better than like painting with with paint and our darkest tone here uh, I'm not gonna use like this one so because it's kind of greenish I don't know why that is so this one is out and I think those two are good and the third one we will mix in ah crap I spilled coffee all over the table so I'm just gonna use the teaspoon from here so we're gonna mix in one more teaspoon into our darkest color Okay, that looks good. This is almost a white page with not a lot of shades going on. Just on the police officer's uniforms here. Okay, so I'm just gonna start coloring in the skin. I don't know why this is now actually super greenish again. I don't know. But I'm gonna leave out some white spots right there. The dress is actually just pure white. And okay, maybe a bit of a shadow like down here. Let's say the light comes from the top right, so everything that's on this side will have some shadows. We have the greenish tones in here again. Okay, uh, I want that the the hat is a bit shiny, so I I have like a really specular highlight on, on the left here and on the right. And then the lower side, which don't get a lot of sun, you can actually paint in really dark with our darkest tone. So let's use that. Yeah, that looks pretty good. So you definitely can get some different values with those. Oh, I know why that is green. It's because I have some green watercolors on top of the brush. Uh, and I'm like sitting here wondering why, why it looks so greenish. <sighs> I'm so stupid sometimes. So always. Make sure that your brushes are actually clean. Some more shadows right here in the folds. I think we can maybe actually also have some cool gradients like here. Let's try to draw in some more shadows. Okay, we're gonna pick our darkest coffee here. And then we can have a shadow on the shiny head. Okay, that's cool. Okay, and then we're gonna draw in shadow on the face here, I think. The jawline like here and on the nose. Okay, the midtone maybe for, for the ears. I like this. Oh yeah, fits good, smells good. So, maybe my new favorite art supply is coffee. Drinking coffee and painting with coffee. So let's start like coloring in the police uniforms really quick. We 
we're gonna continue with keeping this background like dark because I think this is supposed to be a smoke grenade or something so we want to leave out like the smoke so that the smoke looks like really white and um, everything else looks like dark Okay, so far so good. Thinking about the light source. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna continue with the, the skin tones, I guess. And I still gonna leave out the highlights. There's not a lot of detail in, in the midground and in, in the background, uh, which is good. So we don't have to paint that much. I think let's shade in the ceiling. That looks good. I like that. Like with this bit of a texture, I'm gonna do like a bit of a gradient, like starting here. Just really light and then maybe like like so. Okay, yep. And then ah you can actually see the the smoke grenade coming in here or uh, down here. So let's give this a lot of contrast. Every time you have a lot of contrast the eye will go to this point right here. Okay, so let's keep it like this. And then we are gonna um, actually color in the crown. And we also want to have like a really nice gradient from the bottom to the top. So the the bottom should actually be a bit darker as well. The smoke grenade down here, so let's keep our focus also on this. Okay, we're just gonna color in the floor just a tiny bit, not too much. And a bit of a shadow where those guys are sitting. So I think, you know what, I think I will mix in some more coffee into the darker tone because I think it's not dark enough so we need to mix in just a tiny bit more and now there is a lot of coffee in here so should I take a zip from it no better not better not guys okay oh my okay but now it should be even darker, let's test this here. Yeah, actually kind of makes, makes, makes a difference, definitely. Okay, some shadows on those guys. This is some really hard shadows, like we would cell shade those characters. So this dried out really good so far. I really like uh, the colors of those. That looks awesome, guys. I don't know why it's so much easier than, for me at least, than using watercolors. So, we only have to do this one, so this one's gonna be the most fun, I guess. So this is our finished page. Uh, I really love how it turned out and I actually really enjoyed painting with coffee so I think it was for me a lot easier than painting with watercolors probably because you don't have to mix different colors. Let me know down in the comments if you like this video and maybe if you have an idea what else we could use for painting then I will hopefully see you guys in my next video. See you there guys. Bye bye.